Hello YouTube, you've probably been wondering where have I been? Well, I've been playing 40k. <clears throat> uh, until the ninth age rules are more finalized and more stable, and I'm going to continue to play uh, 40k, and I will be probably building a separate channel for my 40k vehicle uh, yeah, videos. <clears throat> uh, so I had an airbrush that I've had since I was a kid, so I'm going to be using that. That's, that's what I'm going to do my hobby thing. This is a night I've been working on. It's one of my projects. Uh, this is what my slow my slow paint project on on this. I'm gonna do it very slowly and take my time and enjoy it. But yeah, I've been playing 40k. I kind of enjoy the uh, stratagems. They've actually changed the game. Games Workshop did do that one right. Uh, first thing you're gonna need to strip is a dirty cloth and some hot water, and some uh, glass bowl. Don't want to use a plastic bowl because uh, the chemicals you're going to be using to strip the model are going to be kind of caustic. And you're going to need something uh, like coffee or, in my case, a um, Monster Energy drink. <clears throat> and then you're going to need brake cleaner. The brake cleaner is what you're going to be using. You don't want to be using your bare hands while you're doing this. So put some gloves on and protect your hands. So I bought this model uh, off of eBay, uh, this Land Raider. Um, yeah, it's, it's got like seven, like three or four coats of different paint on here. Um, it reminds me of when I first started playing, uh, 40 K, I had a bright orange and blue army and I just threw paint at the models and they looked similar to this. So he's got it all over, he even painted the bottom with several different colors of blue. I, I guess he was trying to make some highlights or whatever. And, um, yeah, this paint is all over. And so I've started to uh, strip the model a little bit. <clears throat> you take the hot, you take the wa hot water, dip the cloth in it, then you spray the, the cloth with the brake dust remover, then you go over the model. And this is what comes off. You do it layer by layer. Some people use the, um, the, the, the simple green. I like to use the brake dust remover because I want to paint the models as soon as I get started working on them, uh, finish uh, stripping them. I don't want to have to wait 24 hours and then <clears throat> you don't you don't really have much control with it either so because um, you're just dipping it in and you're hoping that you don't melt the model um here's a bad uh, blurry picture but yet he, he had several coats on here i don't know whether that's a a, a another layer of primer i don't know what that is <clears throat> maybe he primed some areas of the model and didn't prime others who knows uh, but you don't know what these these um, what these models whenever you buy them off of eBay what they're gonna look, really look like because most people take pictures with their cell phones. And here's another uh, view of when I started stripping more off the Land Raider. You can strip it all the way down to the plastic. You're taking off each layer one at a time. So if you have models that have multiple layers of different paints on there, you can strip it down, strip it down, and um, you can almost strip it down to where it's just the primer. And you can actually use the old primer that's still on, that was on the model originally. I don't think this model actually had primer. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, he even had a green, green, some kind of green paint job going on here. And it was kind of funky. Um, here's another side of it. Uh, continue to strip this paint off. Um, and here's another look here. Uh, these older Land Raiders, they had, uh, this is back when Games Workshop first started using, like, you know, plastics and trying to do detail, and the skulls on them aren't really that <laughs> that uh, that detailed. Um, but here's, an, here's another layer here, taking it off on the back side of the Rhino. Um, I'm crazy enough to do it with my bare hands. Here. And here's another view here, take it off more of it. You see that? This is about, this is a 30-minute process. So you're doing it in less than... You know, a lot of people do uh, when they take the uh, layers off with the pink, the purple, well, not the purple stuff, the, the green stuff. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I took all of uh, the last cannons and stuff off so I can get into the, the you know, the corner, the, into the bottom of the, into little, those little so spots. So as you can see here, this is um, as much as I care to take off. It was, um, it was originally had some type of dark dark blue, grayish blue coloring on the top of it. And I took it down to the, the blue ultramarine color he had on here. Looks like he probably did not 
find this. Um, he has this curious green color here, which was underneath there. The Space Marine is actually gray already. So, yeah. Didn't even own, I don't believe it even had any primer on it. So, yeah. Break dust remover. So here's what the Land Raider now looks like. I, um, I decided to go with the uh, Steel Confessors. They're a, a successor chapter to the Iron Hands, and they're kind of linked with the um, with the Mechanicum. They were they were built by the Mechanicum in secret, and the Imperium uh, found out about it, and they uh, <laughs> they sanctioned they, they they put certain sanctions on the. Uh, on the Mechanicum. They, they didn't want the Mechanicum to have their own private Space Marine chapter. But anyway, um, here, here's what this Land Raider is looking like now. Starting to do highlights on it. And um, yeah, less than 24 hours, I almost have a finished paint job on it. Um, when you paint, when you actually painted Fantasy for as long as I have, you learn how to paint really, really fast. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this.